Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a Warp Tour survival guide for people who have not ever been to Warp Tour, or this is really like applicable to any outdoor concert or event. I think the most important rule of Warp Tour is do not complain. You're you're at Warp Tour. Um, it's supposed to be fun, and don't spend the whole time complaining about how hot it is. Trust me, we all know how hot it is. We don't need to hear about like it every five seconds. We we know we're there. And um, don't complain about your hair and makeup. Don't complain if like you get sweat because literally your legs, if you're wearing shorts, will be dripping with sweat. And it is kind of gross, but kind of not gross at the same time. It's kind of awesome. So obviously the most important part of Warp Tour is actually going to the Warped Tour. So I recommend talking to your parents, like, my parents just are like, oh, here's your Warped Tour ticket, they get it for me for my birthday. Um, but in case your parents are, like, strict, make sure you talk to them early about it. Don't, like, week of be like, oh, hey, mom, dad, can I go to a Warped Tour? Because chances are they won't let you go. And this year, if your parents don't necessarily want you to go alone, but they don't really want to go because they don't want to pay for it. This year, for 2013, um, if you buy a ticket, and you ha you can bring a parent with you for free. So, I would recommend bringing your parents because, one, they will give you money in case you are dying of dehydration. Two, if you die of dehydration, you'll have an immediate ride home. And three, they can hold all of your stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Another really important part of going to Warp Tour is your ride to get to Warp Tour. Make sure you secure a ride to Warp Tour at least two weeks in advance. Alright, so the morning of Warp Tour, you are going to want to make your hair look perfect and make your makeup look perfect. And if you decide to do that, like I do every year, do not complain if it gets messed up. Like just just take pictures before you go um, because it is gonna get messed up you're gonna sweat off your makeup um, your face is gonna get wet people are gonna throw water at you <clears throat> and if you're a Black Veil Brides fan you'll probably get water balloons full of pee thrown at you so just accept that your face is not gonna look good by the end of the night before you leave your house it's really important to have one water bottle, I would recommend freezing it the night before so you can, it'll still be cold once when you get to Warp Tour and you can buy a bottle there and yeah. So you have two water bottles. And write down the list of bands you really, really do not want to miss because right when you walk in there'll be a giant inflatable and it'll tell you all the times and you can just like write the time and where it is right next to the name instead of trying to write everything on that little piece of paper that they give you it just doesn't really work out so it's better if you bring your own now um, a couple things you should bring in your car if you're driving or if your parents are coming with you um, I would definitely bring towels because you will get into the car and if like your parents have a car that they don't necessarily want you to trash um, you will be sweaty and you will be wet and that might ruin the leather seats so I would bring a couple towels in the car some I definitely definitely keep the aloe vera aloe that that sunscreen gel on your car because you will get sunburned and it's gonna hurt Another thing you really, really, really need to bring to War Tour is a backpack and make sure everyone has their own backpack because if you have a group of friends and you bring just one backpack, um, it's going to get really heavy and no one's going to want to carry it. So be like, tell people you won't hold their stuff. Be like, no, sorry, you should have brought your own backpack. Um, as mean as that sounds, um, you're not going to have a good time if you have 50 pounds of other people's merch on your back. Having money is probably the balance, like, that's probably the, 
I don't know how to explain it. If you have money, you will survive. If you don't have money, you will probably get dehydrated and die. Um, I had about $80 last year, and I only got one shirt, and it was $20, and I spent the rest on water and a piece of pizza, but mostly water, and I also bought a soda, but it was the same price as water, so. Um, I suggest bringing at least a hundred dollars, um, at least. Um, they do have the water refill stations there, but you're not going to want to go back every 16 ounces. Um, yeah, sometimes the water things are just closer and you'll have more bottles, or sometimes it's just a really nice person is like, hey, you want to share my water? And I'll be like, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. You are a saint. Um, yeah, so just make sure you have money. Enough money. Waters, I think, are like $4. Unless they like change the price. I don't know. I have my Warped Tour. The Phoenix Warped Tour is on Thursday. Um, I know I said that if someone offers you water, you should thank them. But um, you should always be careful when accepting drinks from strangers because you don't know what's in it, what they could have done, or anything. Um, I, I wouldn't take any colored drinks from people because there may be alcohol or anything else in them and trust me when it's 110 or so degrees outside drinking is the last thing you want to do so yeah warp tour I would not suggest getting drunk at all mm -mm. it's too hot um, smoking um, mostly I I wouldn't do it because I think it's too hot um, but If you want to, that's cool. Um, I, I obviously can't stop you, so it's whatever forever. You don't want to be too hot, um, so I would not recommend wearing pants. Wear shants, shorts, cut off capris. I don't give a damn. Just do not wear pants. Um, a lot of a lot of people are against girls wearing bikini tops to warp tour and I'm like fuck you I'm gonna wear a bikini top because I live in Phoenix so it is going to be 110 degrees outside and I'm not gonna fucking wear a shirt the chances are anyways if you go to warp tour you will probably end up buying a shirt and if everyone has such a problem with people wearing bikini tops to warp tour just buy a shirt there that, that is my solution, buy a shirt there. Shoes are probably, they are so important because you don't want stuff falling off your feet. Like if you go into the pit or if you're walking around. I definitely recommend wearing shoes with laces that you can tie up. Um, it doesn't matter if they're Converse, if they're Vans, if they're fucking Doc Martens. Um, if they're like airwalks, whatever, make sure they tie on, make sure they won't fall off. Um, I do not recommend wearing Toms at all because they don't tie, they will fall off, and they smell bad. Yeah. Um, I, this, I recommend if you have body jewelry, um, you take it out. Um, if you're wearing tapers even though they are not jewelry you will lose them and if you don't want to lose um, your tapers your plugs um, your like face jewels um, take them out um, is you don't want it to get ripped out it's take it out or it gets ripped out it's, it's your choice unless you are balding or if you have or if like your hair is falling out don't wear extensions, please, 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 please. This is so, so important. I stress this so much. Do not wear extensions to Warp Tour. Do not wear extensions. Um, it is hot. You will be sweaty. Um, you will end up putting your hair up anyways. So why even put a weave in? Um, I see so many little, like, scene girls running around with their weaves. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> if if you try to do anything, your weave will probably get ripped out. Just just don't wear a weave. If you care about your weave, don't wear it. Um, I say like one like if you're if you're not allowed to dye your hair and you have just like a colorful clip, that's that's fine. That's fine. No full full weaves. Like if it clips in, leave it at home. When you're actually approaching to the warp tour, make sure you tell your parents exactly to where to pick you up. If the um, venue is like by somewhere, like a Circle K or whatever, tell your parents to pick you up there. Or if there's a designated drop off and pick up area, tell them to meet you back here. If they're dropping you off, not coming with you, of course. Uh, because your phone will be dead. It'll be dead like probably about two or three hours into the concert. It will be dead because sure, you know where your parents are picking you up. You'll, um, either pick up your ticket, buy it, or you'll already have yours. So those are your three options. Do not buy anything from anyone in the parking lot because it is fake. 110% fake. It doesn't matter if they say they're in a band and you can get backstage if you pay $20 for this VIP thing. No. Another great thing that not actually a lot of people do is the um, you bring cans to get to skip the line pass and like I got in in like probably 15 minutes or less after the doors opened and there was a giant ass line and this um, I think it's th it's three cans or you can bring five dollars which is like a lot not as heavy and it's it's roughly about the same price or you could bring an old cell phone which I didn't bring any of those and you will get a skip the line little wristband and which are really cool to have people sign too but um, yeah it'll save you a lot of time if you go to warp tour with your friends after when you get in you need to designate a uh, meetup like a meetup fucking little area where you can meet up after the show because you will not want to watch the same bands as them and you will get lost and you will just be like whatever because everyone's phones are going to be dead so you need if you are taking them home or if they are your ride home or if anything like that if they have your phone if they have any of your stuff you need to have a meetup spot that is very very important because it is a huge hassle to try to find anyone at the end of the night because everyone looks the same when they're all hot and sweaty and sunburned. Alright, so you're at the concert now, you're watching your favorite band, and you decide to go in a mosh pit. The most important rule for going into a mosh pit is don't go into the pit if you don't want to be hit. It a rule about moshing is don't hit anyone in the face on purpose unless you want to die. And even if you're a girl, they won't go easy on you because it's warp Tour, it's a mosh pit, and you chose to be in a mosh pit. Crowd surfing is really fun. You should definitely just say YOLO and do it. I know it's kind of like nerve-wracking your first time because you're like, oh god, what if they drop me? As long as you're not at like some, like, scarce, like, concert there will be even if you do get dropped there will be some guy to help you up um, if you crowd surf do it towards the front don't don't try to crowd surf with those stragglers in the back and don't try to do it in the, by the pit crowd surf in front of the pit on, or on the sides not behind all right I don't I don't want you to get thrown into the pit because of me I know I have said this is the most important thing about Warp Tour like 50 times, but I promise you the most important part of Warp Tour is enjoying yourself and um, seeing the bands and having a chance to meet the band members that have inspired you to live on and stuff. Um, yeah, just remember, have fun, be positive, just you can have a great time and it all matters on your mindset. So. Yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys. So yeah, happy work tour.